Hi guys. So I'm here to talk to you about the ditching body wash, um, body soap, and toothpaste. Obviously, we don't want to ditch our toothpaste completely because we like our white shiny teeth, but let's just try to use a different, more safe alternative, okay? So let's talk about these. Um, there is paraben in all of, there's four different kinds of paraben, but in lotions and shampoos and conditioner, makeup, moisturizers, lipstick, the list goes on. They're used as preservatives so that the shelf life of these products lasts longer. Um, when it's the, these um, parabens are actually made to mimic our estrogen in our bodies. Um, they do cause, they are estrogen disruptors. They can cause breast cancer. Um, in 2004, these parabens were banned in Japan and Sweden. Okay. Again, the U S is last to recover anything like this. Um, Phthalates. So, in high levels, um, it is really not good. Um, 2008, Congress banned BPA, which um, it was in our water bottles that we were all concerned about. Um, the chemicals of concern list, they've added eight more, but they haven't passed these. If it gets into our bloodstream, um, it's a hormone disruptor. It's a DNA damage. Um, it can, if you're pregnant, it can cause birth defects. I mean, it, these things are scary. And with body wash and shampoo, the SLS in the sodium lauryl sulfate that is in these that causes that lathering effect, we're using that right around our brains, okay? We're using them on our children. We're using them on our stomachs when we're pregnant. I mean, all of these things um, are affecting our growth, our development. Um, the SLS is used as a pesticide and herbicide on some farms, um, and we're using that on our skin. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm over it. I don't really care if I'm all lathered up anymore. <laughs> but um, I still want to smell really good. So you just switch. You find um, Young Living's brands instead. Um, let's talk really quick about what happens when you heat SLS and other chemicals that are in these products. Um, it emix, emits the toxicin, the to the can't talk apparently. It emits the toxins into the steam. Okay, these dyes and things actually go into the steam and can affect what your the air that you're breathing. Fragrances, again, they are not good for you, okay? If you like a little bit of a scent, I, I know lots of people are like, fragrance-free, that's the way to go. Well, some of us like fragrance. So if you like that, stay away from bath and body works and add essential oils to your chemical-free products. Um, these ingredients are actually attacking the blood, the liver, the kidneys, your respiratory, their skin irritants, and they're flammable. Why would you use something that's flammable on your body, on your hair, hairspray? It's flammable. I don't know. It kind of freaks me out, but I know my daughter wants to use hairspray for dance, and I was like, okay, this one day. She bought a bottle and I was like, wait, you cannot use this every day because it's going to seep into your brain cells. And she was very nervous. So now she's turned over the hairspray to me so I can better assist her when she needs it. Um, Let's avoid the artificial dyes, okay, because they can cause allergic reactions, hyperactivity. They affect your nervous system. Um, we all have hyper children as it is. Let's not add more things to their environment that's going to cause this, you know, to be worse, all right? Now, let's talk about some personal care switches. There are some products that I listed for you, like um, there's some different toothpaste products. They have Thieves. They have the um, Dentarome. They also have children's toothpaste that you can get. Um, Dentarome is kind of cool because you can use it as deodorant under your arms. I mean, that's kind of nice to have um, something that, you know, you can use for two things. Um, we have oral shampoo, so beauty products. Um, we're educating moms on how to make um, better, safer choices for our homes. That is what my goal is, okay? I am sort of becoming a crunchy hippie oiler over here, but 
there's no judgment on anybody who's not to my point yet. It took me a while to switch a lot of my products. I can pe bet you I still have like t teeth whitening soap in my bathroom and it's okay. My husband likes to use it and one day I'm hoping he'll switch because that lathering effect, you don't get those bubbles in your mouth with the Thieves toothpaste and he really likes that, but you don't need it. It's a chemical that's causing that. Health and wellness is not found in a drugstore. It is worth the cost to be healthy. We're we're okay with controlling, you know, the food that goes in our bodies, and we're so crazy about making sure it's organic or whatever. Well, why don't we care about the things we put on our skin, on our hair, and our mouths, like to clean our teeth? It's it's time that we take a whole body revamp, okay? Don't just worry about what goes in. Worry about what's on you. Take baby steps, okay? If you were to order one product a month, which is 12 a year, that would make a huge difference. There's 12 pages of personal care products in our in the Young Living magazine, which are safe alternatives. Money saving, okay? Let's talk about this. It's extremely concentrated. You only need a little bit. None of this toothpaste that you buy in the drugstore gives you that put an inch on your toothbrush. No, no, no. Like a dot, like a quarter, a dime size, a pea size. How about that? Pea sounds better. A pea size toothpaste on your toothbrush with thieves is way, that's all you need. All you need. So this toothpaste is going to last you a long time. Use essential oils instead of fragrances. Bath and Body Works, no. Not real, fake, gives you headaches, artificial fragrances. I can't even walk by that store. My daycare actually has one of their soaps in the bathroom, and I went to use the bathroom there the other day, and I wash my hands. I get out in the car, and I sneeze like 12 times. Like, what? What's going on? Why am I sneezing so much? Well, it rang. Hello, I have been without these products for so long that when I actually used one, um, in her bathroom, it cr created that sneezing in my body. It just did not want it. Okay. So, um, I did tell you that it are, that the toothpaste doubles as deodorant. Bath and shower gel. There are no parabens to mess with when it comes to young living, okay? It won't mess with your hormones and we do sell bar soaps too, which are awesome and you can shave them and, you know, make little cool things. Every, I like to create projects with my kids and stuff when it comes to these. But I hope all of that was really helpful. Thanks guys for listening.